Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. In today's video, we will be looking at Bronze Era Strongman and Bodybuilder Arthur Dan Duran's training methods, specifically for developing his crazy traps and arms. It's something I get asked all the time about because Bronze Era Strongman had such crazy arm and trap development. And looking at this picture of Arthur Dan Duran, it's easy to see why. Standing at 5 foot 8 and 185 pounds of ripped muscles, sporting 17 inch arms and 15 inch forearms naturally, Arthur Dandurand was another forgotten Bronze Era strongman from the early 20th century and Canada's first champion strongman. Known as Sandusky, he was the first to win Canada's heavyweight arm wrestling championship in 1905. Between the ages of 1906 to 1915, Dan Duran was regarded as one of the best arm wrestlers in the world, owing to his ludicrous hand and wrist strength. For example, here are some of his crazy strength feats. In 1908, he walked 23 feet with a wheelbarrow loaded to 4,300 pounds or almost 2 tons. In this image we see here, He's 50 years old, and we can see him shouldering a Model T car engine which weighed 455 pounds, and he walked 84 feet with it as well before lowering it onto a table without apparently even warming up. His other feats of strength include one arm strict presses with 115 pounds, two arm strict press with 200 pounds, right hand deadlift. That's just with one hand, a right hand deadlift with 550 pounds, strict reverse curl with 177 pounds, the Kennedy lift with 1,100 pounds, shouldering a 500 pound keg of beer, lifting a 750 pound railroad trail off the ground and carrying a 400 pound barbell at arm's length for 30 steps. And if you're wondering how old he was when this ripped photo was taken, it was back in 1930 before testosterone was synthesized and when he was 53 years old. Just get that in your head. This other pic of Arthur at La Press newspaper office is when he lifted the big guy next to him who weighed close to 335 pounds and bent pressed him overhead with one arm. We're talking about a 335 pound bent press with a live weight. It's not a dead weight. I mean, this guy must have been moving and laughing and everything. And he pressed him, he bent pressed him overhead with one arm. Amazing. I mean, this guy, Arthur Dandrian, was truly an amazing strong man. Regarding his training methods, Arthur believed that all round training was pivotal to developing a powerful and muscular physique and that specialization and isolation work should be only used after building fundamental strength and musculature using barbells, dumbbells, cables, wall pulleys, chinning bars and parallel bars or basic equipment. And basically what he's saying is that functional strength will build functional muscles that also look good. For the beginner and intermediate lifter, Arthur recommended that they perform no more than 12 exercises that trained the whole body, and his favorite exercises included the deep knee bend or squat, the pullover, the deadlift, two arms press in front or behind the neck, the half squat, the snatch, and the pullover and press, performing 8 to 12 reps in each exercise. Later on, when the body is more developed and strong and conditioned, Arthur would then recommend adding isolation exercises to balance out the physique, such as arm exercises like two arm curls with dumbbells, single hand curls with dumbbells, side curls with dumbbells, and hammer curls for the biceps, and bent press and the side press, and the one hand military presses for the triceps. Besides barbell and dumbbell exercises and other bodybuilding exercises, Arthur Dandurand practiced odd lifting and weightlifting lifts like the one arm snatch, the military press, the double handed snatch and the bench press. These and other lifts were all practiced by Arthur Dandurand as they were practiced equally by other strongmen of the bronze era. 
So I do hope you have enjoyed this look at Arthur Dangeran, Canadian strongman from the Bronze Era. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please give the video a like, subscribe and leave me your comments and click the bell button to be notified of future videos. I really enjoy bringing you these videos on Bronze Era strongmen and will continue to do so as I find that these Bronze Era strongmen were not only incredibly muscular, but their methods can be applied by all, whether you are training in the gym or not. They just used no-nonsense hard training with very basic equipment, and it worked. That's it from me. This is the Golden Era bookworm saying bye for now. The complete collection of Doug Hepburn's courses is now available on www.goldenerabookum.com and is recommended for those looking to increase their numbers in the major lifts. Doug Hepburn was regarded as one of the strongest men of all time, possessing superhuman strength. The collection of books includes titles such as The Deadlift, The Deep Knee Bend or Squat, How I Bench Pressed 500 Pounds, The Olympic Press, The Two Hands Curl, The Doug Hepburn Super Strength Course, as well as his course for Strength and Bulk. All courses are now available at www.goldenerabookum.com. Need a bodybuilding poster for your gym or office? Then check out Ironman Magazine Archive.smugmug.com for the highest quality posters on the planet. Scroll through the galleries of all the legends, including greats such as Arnold, Frank Zane, Sergio Oliva, Serge Nubre, Tom Platts, and Larry Scott, and much, much more, and select your poster now. Online training is now available, including my new program, Novice to Classic, a program geared towards beginners and novices looking at developing a classic physique, as well as Classic Cut, geared at those who wish to lose weight and gain muscle fast. Details available at www.goldenerabooking.com. As a natural bodybuilder, it is imperative to know your own testosterone levels as they are a reflection of the anabolic environment created by your diet and training. I would highly recommend using the male hormone test kit from Let's Get Checked and make sure you use my code GOLDEN30 for a 30% discount. Again, the advantage of checking yourself regularly is that you will know how well your body is anabolically primed to put on the much desired muscle you are working for. Get your gym wear and golden era apparel at the new golden era tees shop featuring designs from the silver era and golden era legends available as tanks, shirts, sweatshirts and hoodies in all sizes and colors. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases and much, much more. Once again at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. I don't think that Bill Phillips looked at it as I want to compete against them. I want to destroy them. If they pass legislation basically making any type of food supplement a prescription item that would be the end the death of the entire food supplement industry in the 1960s the sports supplement industry was barely emerging i think the reason why joe weeder was so successful was he had arnold on his side he wasn't selling supplements he was in the dream business joe weeder was a marketing genius People would say the promotions or the endorsements back then were cheesy. To me, it wasn't. I loved it. Fitness was taking off. You know, fitness became cool. You had a lot of readers that wanted to be like the stars that they idolized. Bill's strength is his marketing savvy. He's a marketing genius. Got it, got it. It's only vitamin. The right of American citizens to have free access to dietary supplements of their choice. Consult your physician, you might as well consult the next guy you meet on the street. They don't know a damn thing about vitamins and nutrition. The dietary supplement industry became the number two most regulated industry. Nuclear, dietary supplements, pharmaceutical. We are more regulated than drugs. They come in and you uh, need to allow the FDA. They have jurisdiction. The enforcement is kind of the questionable side of it and how do they really get a handle on this monster? A lot of people tell me that the dietary supplement industry is completely unregulated. It's the wild, wild west out there. It's a free for all. That could not be further from the truth. A dietary supplement is not allowed to have a side effect. 
I always say that pharmaceutical has to have a minimum of 100 side effects in order for it to be a drug. And now, it's a $40 billion industry and growing. That's the really interesting thing, is the cast of characters from the 80s, when it was kind of iffy, to now when it's a lot more legitimate. They made it sound cutting edge, revolutionary, and different, and I want that. That's cool. We are in this industry to improve our health. It's not just a vanity project here. We're working on our lifeline. We eat a certain way to improve our health. We train a certain way to improve our health. Supplements are just that. They supplement your work, your graft, your nutrition. Uh, they demonize dietary supplements, but they say all you need is real food. Well, what's a real food? They pump you up and get you hard, stronger, faster, bigger. Doc, I want to take this weight gain. I want to take this pre-workout. That does no! No way! That stuff, we don't know what's in that. It could be, no way! I'm not gonna give you, it's gonna kill the industry, bottom line. So I must have dragged so much protein powder from age 15 to 18 that my head was gonna explode. <laughs> I believed in metrics so much that I would probably punch somebody in the face if they tried to take it away from me. <laughs>